Welcome to this very important video which will explain to you um, the concept of significant figures. And um, I've written down a number 28,506. Now, let's just imagine that that is, uh, well, for instance, the money on my bank account. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not have that kind of money, but let's say I do. Now, let's dream a little bit. I have 28,506 pounds, dollars, euros, whatever you have, yens, um, on my bank account. Now, which number is most significant? Yeah? Which number of 28,506 is the most important number? Yeah, because significance yeah, it's another word for importance, yeah, important. Which number gives the most value to my number? Okay, so let, let's think about that. Which number gives the most value? Do I rather have that eight go to a nine, or do I rather have this two go to a three? Now, which one is the most important number? And indeed, that is that one. The two in this case is my first significant figure. The eight is my second most important number, it's the second significant figure, the third significant figure, the fourth, and the sixth is the fifth significant figure in this particular case. Now, if I would have to round to one significant figure, so let's say to one SF, is what you encounter sometimes, then I round uh, similar as if I'm rounding just with decimals um, or other whole numbers, what is my first significant figure? It's the two, and that stays a two or goes up to a three, and that depends on the next number. It's a five or higher, so the two indeed goes up. To one significant figure, this is gonna be, yeah, three, but then it's gonna be 30,000. Okay, so that's to one significant figure. It's 30,000. So it loses a certain amount of accuracy, yeah? so. The more significant figures you have, the more accurate your number is. If somebody tells me I have 28,506 pounds on my bank account, well, then I know that that person has exactly 28,506 pounds on his bank account because he just gives such an accurate answer to me or such accurate information. If somebody tells me I have 30,000 pounds on my bank account, well, then I know that he will have quite a lot of money in his bank account roughly 30,000, perhaps a little bit less, perhaps a little bit more, but in, anyway, in that area. But it's less accurate, yeah? So the more significant figures you have, the more accurate your answer is. Okay, now let's take a look at this number again, and let's round it to two significant figures. Two, and sometimes they'll write sig, fig, significant figures. Now, what is my second significant figure? So that's my first, that's my second. It's an eight, and again, it goes up to a nine, or it stays an eight, and it always depends on the next number. Like always when you're rounding, it's a five, so the eight indeed goes up 29,000. So again, somebody says, I have 29,000 pounds in my bank account. Well, that's more accurate than the 30,000, but still, if somebody tells me that number, I think, well, it's gonna be around the 29,000. Perhaps, perhaps 29,800, perhaps 28,205, roughly 29,000 anyway, yeah, but probably not exactly. The more significant figures you have, the more accurate your answer, your number is. Okay, now one more to three significant figures, the original number to three SF. One to three, the five is the third significant figure. It stays a five or it goes up to a six. That depends on the next one. It's less than a five, so it stays a five. So to three significant figures, it's gonna be 28,050 and then zero, the zero placeholder, 28,500, okay? And it's getting more and more accurate. Okay, now what I just want to add there about significant figures are I want to say something about the zeros. So I'm going to write a particular number, let's say 508 um, point zero. Now you see two zeros here. And what is my first significant figure? That's the five. What is my second significant figure? That's the zero. 
My third significant figure is the eight, and my fourth significant figure is that zero again. And if I will put a one here, then my fifth significant figure is a one. And let's say put another zero there, that's my sixth significant figure. So these zeros, when they are, let's say, in between numbers, yeah, in the middle, or at the end, at the right side of my number, they count as significant figures. So in this particular case, if this would be my answer somewhere, I have one, two, three, four, five, six significant figures. However, zeros that are written on the left side of your number, so for instance, 0508.010, they do not count as significant figures, yeah? Because they don't, yeah, it's, it's nothing. So now, still my first significant figure is the five, my second significant figure is the zero, my third is the eight, my fourth significant figure is zero, yeah? So those zeros, they do not count as significant, yeah? Because we actually could put those zeros uh, in front of every number, yeah? So if somebody asks me, how many significant figures does this number have? I would say, well, this number is 200.0. It will have one, two, three, four significant figures because those zeros at the beginning, I don't count. I do count them in the middle of my number and I count them all the way at the end. Yeah, so I count the zeros in the middle. They are significant. The one at the end is significant, the ones at the beginning are not. Okay, significant figures, very important that you are comfortable with rounding to a particular amount of significant figures because that's what you'll have to do with most of your final answers on your exams as well. Now have a look at a few example questions in the next video to test your understanding. All the best.